Hey guys, welcome back to Lords of the Fallen. This is episode uh, 13, I believe. And ironically, you can see that I my projectile icon is grayed out. So even though I have a flawless poison rune here, and it makes it pretty badass. I just straight up don't have enough magic to use it. So first, I'll go kill an enemy and show off that I have the maximum experience multiplier for the hell of it. But then I'll come back and level up so I can actually use the uh, <laughs> use the poison spell uh, and here we see hound masters in their natural environment and this this little area right here there's a little thing you have to jump to to get let's see if we can do it without failing if I miss then I'm probably gonna die so I did not miss okay uh, it's just just magic energy shard, which is actually the rarest rarest kind of shard in the game, so it's not totally worthless. You don't have to get much of a running start to uh, jump in this game, so that's quite useful. And here's the actual stairs, but here's a much tougher uh, version of the, the fast enemy, and there's actually multiples of them in this area, so. I think they might might just kill me in one hit if I if I just uh, fight him. So I'm gonna try to heal. Oh, I didn't heal. Huh. Must have hit a one a little too fast, so I cancelled out of the animation. There we go. It seems like the AI does respond to you healing. Like they'll be a little bit more aggressive if they notice you healing. But I'm not sure if that's actually true. Could be an illusion. So these guys are a lot more dangerous than their counterparts, but we, you'll notice that we have pretty similar outfits. And we have the same shield. The blocker is also what they're using. Uh huh. So even though I didn't do combo damage, the, uh, the damage output of needles is. Impressive enough to just take these guys down in a couple of hits. And he dropped Rotten, which I believe is a strength weapon, so... Won't be able to show that off in this round. Uh... Well, let's see here. This, this area is very circular, so it's hard to get your bearings sometimes. And I definitely went to the wrong staircase, so... This, these are the antechambers, as I will probably title the episode. And there's even little alcoves back here that uh, can lead... There's another one in this room that leads to a locked door that we won't be able to open for quite some time. Mm -hmm. oh, and here we see this little platform. So you can just walk straight across air <laughs> to get onto it. And there's another... Fast Rogar guy. Just I'm only rolling with uh, zero health files here. I'm gonna be a little conservative, but keep getting the backstabs. Ah, you see the backstab whipped there, which happens sometimes just because the back backstab has a hitbox for no apparent reason. So that can be rather frustrating. Ah, there, there we got a uh, a pulse sword. for mortals, but this sword. It is something else. If I only imbue these runes on it, this sword will be fit for God. And the pulse sword is a, another strength-only weapon that uh, that you can only use with two hands. And it's actually quite a powerful weapon with a cool moveset, but I won't be able to show it off appropriately without a strength build. I'll, I'll demonstrate those in some other videos. And here we see the, the shield little brother guy, which are in the previous three areas of the game, but they're much, much easier than their larger cousins. And this lever has two purposes, so the first will be obvious as it lowers that spiked gate back here. So there was, there was two gates here, and now there's only one. So that links the two antechambers together. 
And there's an ancient plate, the uh, the quest item for Yetka. We need to find some more of those. Uh, I believe this is the right spot. Yes, okay. And I'm gonna go get some uh, some magic mana. Build up my uh, my faith stat here, so I actually have enough to use the um, gauntlet. So that should be exactly enough, 60. And I'll I'll wait. Well, I can bank the experience now, but I'll I'll wait to figure out what what I'm gonna do with the rest of my stats. Well, I'll put one vitality for the heck of it. But now the uh, now you see the icon is lit up, so now we can actually use our very powerful poison spell, which I'll try to use on uh, the Houndmaster down here. I'm not sure if this will have enough range. We'll see if it, the projectile dissipates before it gets to him. I think it will. Nope, we got him. So that uh, dot that we stuck on him will just keep going and going and going for up until like 400, 500 damage maybe. Oh no, it, it didn't. Uh, but usually it lasts for quite a while. I'm not sure if our faith is just too low, but usually the flawless poison will do pretty well. I'm not sure what the issue is. My apologies. <laughs> pretty underwhelming, huh? Uh, he has the two wolves fighting each other. I guess one of them actually won the fight. Usually they back off and one of them regains health, but apparently one of them just straight up died this time. That was interesting. That's why these guys are Houndmasters, I suppose. Hmm. And here we see the most mainless door in the game, so you have to open it from this side, and all it does is link you between these two areas. Isn't that wonderful? Well done. And pretty much every wall in, in the Rogar realm looks breakable, like they all have cracks in them and so on. But I'm pretty sure there's only one or two that are actually breakable, or maybe zero. <laughs> so don't uh, don't go crazy about running into walls here. But uh, that's why we have the compass, to make that a little bit easier. Uh, let, me, let me equip a pulse sword right here, see if I can actually wield it. Uh, there it is. Here's the first pole sword we got, and so I'm using it with one hand. So nope, <laughs> he just he just straight up drops it. It's like, oh, nope, too heavy. Can't do it. So you have to use it with two hands. And since I my strength is too low, I'll be doing these animations a little slower than you would normally. But it's pretty cool just having all these fancy twirly attacks and so on. There's an enemy that we're about to see that whips it around like crazy. And his his particular uh, usage of the weapon is very impressive, but maybe not quite so impressive for uh, Harkin here. The, uh, the Rogar realm is generally more open than the human counterparts. It's a little easier to find your way around. And here we have a chest that's locked, I believe. Yeah. So there are chests in the game that also have keys associated with them. I'm not sure which key goes to this chest, but we'll figure that out eventually. And we heard a nice large horn noise. So in addition to linking the two areas together, now we can go back to the original central area. And we'll discover that the door is actually open now. Uh, if I can find the staircase. Sorry. Uh, I think it is not this one, if I'm not mistaken. You can see the the writing on the wall here. You can walk up to it and it says strange signs in an ancient language. Eventually we'll be able to read those. And there'll be uh, another set of lore, but not yet. Um, I think this should be right? Nope. Betting a thousand here. Uh, this one? Yes, okay. Sorry, uh, 
naturally this is another of the game's rather confusing areas even though it's it's more expansive it's still kind of confusing here's the the gate that just opened and there's not a boss here yet so don't worry too much about that but here's our tyrant who will demonstrate the the pole sword's impressiveness this guy can pretty much two shot me right now and uh, so I took out almost all of my stamina out there. <laughs> but these uh, these enemies are sort of a puzzle, and that's gonna hit pretty badly. Yeah, in pretty bad shape here, but I should be okay. Yep. Uh, so my idea is to shield bash them to stagger them a little bit, then try to get off a combo attack. I failed to do it there, but the combo attack will. Them. And now we see that he's not dead, so what mysterious thing could be going on? Well, he punches the ground, and there's a red icon to go over the space. And if you know where the bases are before, I need to have to go through that phase, but now he's back up again. But this time he's actually killable, so that's the puzzle. Uh, I've got one more vial. So you see I got the combo attack there and that managed to stagger him out of that. And we got the small western antechamber key, which I'll show for the next episode. And that's going to do it. Uh, I know this is a little bit shorter, but it's hard to... This area is basically about a half hour long, but it's hard to get that exactly trimmed down to just two episodes. I'll do my best to do it in three. So I'll see you guys on the next one. hope you guys enjoyed the video.